Hi, I want to thank you for taking a few minutes of your time. Uh, I, there's a couple of things I just want to talk about. I've gotten a lot of questions about Benchmark. Uh, and what happened to Benchmark? Are we doing Benchmark? And as you probably know, we haven't gone forward with Benchmark. And I'm kind of glad that we haven't gone forward with Benchmark. Because I think that would be a lot on us uh, and our teachers as we go forward for this crazy school year that we have this year. It was back in April, I think. I couldn't sleep one night, and so what did I do? I did what everybody would do in my situation, is I took out the benchmark books and I started to read them. And uh, they, they looked really exciting, and I, I thought, hey, Kay, this is going to be good nighttime reading and I started to read and it's like whoa who doesn't want to read science like this and um I start reading the text okay humans and robots working together and and I'm going and going and I am interested this is like my wheelhouse and tell me more and I turn the page and it switches topic to to who's driving okay we got driverless cars all right okay not as interested, but I'm going along and I'm learning. Whoa, whoa, this is getting more and more interesting. Tell me more. I turn the page and it's done. And I went to more and more of these kind of things. I'm chipmunks? <laughs> but, uh, okay, and then turn the page and it's opossums. And the moment I get excited, that's when they switch subjects. But it was this one's Heroes and Villains that really turned me off. The first text is a Robin Hood story. It doesn't tell you much about Robin Hood. You're supposed to already know about Robin Hood, I guess. Um, and so it, it goes and he talks about Robin Hood. And the bottom of the page has Robin Hood escaping. And where does he go? What happens next? And the story switches. Uh, it just begins the story and again... The ending is very unsatisfying. It does not end the story. So several years back, Kelly Gallagher wrote a book called Read Aside. Some of you have read it. And the argument of the book is basically that we in schools kill the love of reading. And unfortunately, we kill the love of reading by doing the things that... Uh, these benchmark books were doing uh, by giving a story without context, by beginning a story and then switching automatically, beginning a topic, but once you finally get interested, it then switches to something else. That's the kind of thing that actually kills the love of reading in students. So there were a lot of things I liked about Benchmark, but I do think deep down in my heart that going forward with Benchmark uh, as our main curriculum would be the wrong decision to make. With input from the teachers, with the knowledge of the teachers and the coaches, we're going to make the best decision for Franklin. We're still in this. Uh, our goal this year, though, is not to change anything on us, but our goal this year is to serve students well despite whatever craziness 2020 has up its sleeves for the next couple of months. So I appreciate you giving me this time. Uh, take care. Back to work. See you later.